Hello, my name is Mark Dietz. I'm a Hawker 4000 customer service engineer for Textron Aviation. In this session today, we will talk about the Primus Epic system and downloading the fault history from the onboard maintenance computer of the 4000. The fault history, once downloaded and decoded, can provide numerous indications of the health of the aircraft as well as assist in troubleshooting specific issues and faults. There are several conditions that require a decoded fault history in order to determine the source of a fault or cast message. Now, there are a couple different ways to accomplish a fault history download. However, my preferred method is through the aircraft's remote terminal. First, you'll need the remote terminal and the LAN tap kit. You'll hook up the LAN tap and the remote terminal just as you would to load software or for running diagnostics. connecting to either the cockpit LAN port or the external LAN port in the tail. Once connected to the LAN, you'll need to power up the aircraft with either AC or DC power it's important to note that this procedure can also be accomplished with the APU powering the aircraft. With the aircraft powered up and the remote terminal connected to the LAN, you'll launch the CMC remote terminal application as seen here. With the application open, you'll select the extended maintenance header. Then select reports. Then you'll select export fault history. send to local storage. Once this is selected, the report will be sent to the C drive of the computer under the CMC folder labeled reports, as seen here. You'll then access the C drive and transfer the report to a thumb drive. The fault history file appears as a zip file with this characteristic layout. You can see that you'll be able to identify the aircraft shell number as well as the year, day, and month that the file was downloaded. Once the fault history file is transferred, you'll be able to email it to the Hawker 4000 customer support team. The support team will then be able to decode the zip file and provide you with assistance in troubleshooting the specific squawk that you're working. Now, I mentioned that there were a couple of ways to download the fault history, and an alternate method of download can be accomplished through the onboard data management unit if for some reason the remote terminal is not available. This unit has two PCMCIA slots and requires a formatted PCMCIA card to accomplish the task. The procedure is the same via the CMC. However, you are able to use the Copilot's MFD and its access to the CMC menu, as well as a PCMCIA card instead of a thumb drive. You'll select Systems in the top right-hand corner of the MFD, and then select Maintenance. This will access the CMC and provide you with the same application as the remote terminal. Once there, follow the same steps as our preferred method, except you'll select Send to PCMCIA1 or PCMCIA2. Once the process has been completed, the fault history will have been transferred to the PCMCIA card. Note, a PCMCIA adapter card that uses an SD card, as shown here, is acceptable for use with the system as PCMCIA cards are no longer readily available. Thank you for joining us today, and as always, we hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions about our subject today, feel free to call us at 1-800-HAWKER-2 or email us at hawker underscore 4000 underscore support at txtav.com.